Alright, I'm going to show you guys how to s compile Vim for Python autocomplete. So, you have a nice uh, Python document right here. And say OS, F, and then you hit Control XO, and you get autocompletion. If we hit down arrow, you can see up at the top we have um, a description of what this method is and it works for all the Python methods and everything so and say SYS and then look at all these so we're gonna set that up today uh, let me quit out of this and what we need to do is first go to github we'll go to the macvim source repo on github and hit copy to clipboard Let's head back in the terminal and type in git clone, paste it in, and then say mac vim. All right. So hit enter. I've already did this, so I'm not going to do it again. But when you're done, you will have a mac vim folder. So once we have that, we need to cd into mac vim forward slash src for the source folder. And now we need to configure it for the Python interpreter. So dot batch config year then enable python interp for interpreter then tac tac with mac sdk and then 10.06 i tried to compile this on lion but it wouldn't work with 10.7 so but the 10.6 this compile does work on Lion. So once you have that, go ahead and hit enter, and this will start the um, checking. What's well, doing that? You need to head over to my site and download this Python complete .vim. And when you have that downloaded, you need to put it in your Vim folder. So if we're in my home folder here, do ls tac la, and if you don't see a dot vim folder, then just go ahead and make one. And to get to it in Finder, hit Command Shift G, and then you can type in dot vim, hit go, and then that will open up your vim folder. So now that you have your vim folder, go ahead and create another folder called Auto Load and put in that python complete dot vim file into it okay so let's put that down exit that and we're done with our config so now all you say is make and this will start compiling it with gcc and make it uh, yours will take a lot longer because i've already did this so but that will probably take maybe a minute or two and when it's done it should say build succeeded and then it will tell you where um, where uh, the compiled app is so let's just say let's go back into finder and go back to our home folder and go to macvim source uh, it should be build. Is that where it told us? Source Mac Vim again. And then build, then release, and then there's our compiled Mac Vim app, app uh, thing, whatever you call it. Now go ahead and drag this into your applications folder. And I'm not going to do that because it's already in there. But once you have that, then you can go ahead and uh, you can run Mac Vim as its own standalone application like you can here. But we want to be able to use it from the command line. So let's go ahead and exit out of this. And let's cd back into our home directory. And we need a... Um, alias to tell uh, bash where to look when we type in vim 
so we'll say vim and then dot bash profile if you don't have this and just go ahead and make it and in this bash profile on line 29 we can see I have this alias here it says alias vim equals applications macvim.app and contents.macOS.vim and that's the actual vim binary that we've compiled that macvim uses so add this to your bash profile go ahead and save it and I'll quit out of this and we need to modify our vimrc so still in your home folder say vim and then vimrc if you don't have one this will make one hit enter and this is where you set your settings and the few settings that you need in it is syntax on um, for python tab stop equals four um, this set wild menu set complete opt and menu on longest and preview this will give you that preview at the top uh, you may also want auto indent and smart indent uh, for the actual auto completion you want file type plugin on and then here are some special uh, you'll need this au file type python set omnifunk to python complete and then complete so if you like I won't remember this or I don't want to type it because I'm lazy. I'm lazy too. So um, on GitHub we'll go to my uh, repos and under my repos I have this dot files and inside here this has my bash rc with the alias. It has my entire vim rc so you can get all those and it also has my entire vim folder so my auto load with the python complete and any other plugins I have in vim are all in this dot file so you can go ahead and clone this and if you'll notice on mine you see dot vim is a system link to dot files dot vim my vimrc is a system link and I have all these so I keep all my dot files in one location, manage them with git. So uh, even my bash profile is there. So that's really all you have to do to get uh, vim compiled for Python autocomplete.